If people feel that they are being a victim of scam, is, 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 is to stop. Check the information that they're being given. Has it come out of the blue? Um, is it too good to be true? Um, if they are concerned that they may be scammed, then they can call the Citizens Advice Consumer Helpline and they will give advice and work closely with trading standards. Um, tra Cardiff Trading Standards ourselves are happy to go out and look at potential scams and give our advice and opinions. The most important thing is that they check and they take the time um, to look at the information they're being sent, speak to friends. If they believe they are being scammed, then I would really encourage people to report it. People and the general public are our eyes and ears, so if they don't tell us about it, um, we can't possibly do anything to help them or to, to catch the criminals who are, are, are carrying out these scams. Here's an example of a letter that might come through your door. It's a clairvoyant um, scam or an example of a clairvoyant scam. Um, one of the telltale signs here is one, it will come out of the blue. Um, it will often, often be heavily personalised. This one is addressed to Susan, but very often it will be heavily personalised. The other thing is that these types of scams are particularly cruel because they play on people's emotions. They may say, for example, that this clairvoyant um, has seen into your future and has some very worrying news that they want to share with you. Of course, it's a scam and therefore they are asking you to do something or make a payment before that information will be provided. Very often they use emotional blackmail of that type in order to persuade their victims to part with their cash. Um, the other uh, telltale sign of uh, this scam, but scams in general, is very often they will um, put a time pressure. They will say that it's urgent that you respond. And at the end of the day, who makes their best decisions when they're being rushed? Not many of us. So what we would say is take your time, have a look at it, speak to friends or get advice and we can put you straight on whether it's a scam or not.